Well, hello to all my third grade friends at the old Hilltop Primary. It is I, Mr. Brett. Today is the fourth and final week of our animal guessing game and the last time we'll see each other this year while you are currently third graders. Fear not though, we will meet again next fall when you are fourth graders. Oldest kids in the school, it is going to be outstanding. All right. Here we go with the clues. Clue number one of this animal we're trying to guess today is one of the more common animals we see in our neighborhoods. It is adapted very well to living around people. Hmm. All right, clue number two. Here's its skull. Get it up nice and close for you. You're like, wait, Mr. Brett, we saw a skull that looked kind of like that a couple weeks ago. Right, the beaver skull that we saw had those orange teeth on there. They were all right there. Um, yes, it is a type of rodent, and you can see size comparison-wise. I mean, hand, so it's not a very large animal. All right, clue number three, are you ready? This is the last clue before the big reveal. This one thing is super important to this animal. Do you know who it is? Do you have it figured out? Did you expect to see? Da 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 Super Squirrel! No, it's not Super Squirrel. And I know you're like, Mr. Brett, that is a really strange way to have that animal stuffed. It is. I didn't do it. It was like that when I found it. Remember, that's a good one. Uh, yes, the gray squirrel. Squirrels are amazing. I think we often see a squirrel like, oh, it's a squirrel. And for some people, like, oh, pff, it's the animal that steals all the seeds from our feeder and we don't like the squirrel. These things are so creative and so amazingly adaptable. They figure out all the tricks we throw at them. They have figured out how to live around people and they have found ways to stay alive when the world is surrounded by predators. Predators like hawks, predators like owls, fox, coyote, squirrels with their camouflage, with their agility and all of those things. They are really, I think, more than just an animal that lives in our neighborhood. Keep your eye out for the squirrels in your neighborhood. Well, that wraps it up. That is it until we see each other again next year when you are officially fourth graders. But until that moment, my friends, get outside.